Okay, uh, I, I look at it this way. Uh, the difference that it will make is that Buddhism teaches people to have confidence in themselves, to, to live their lives fully. And Buddhism does not teach people to look up to something else to make their lives better for them. Now, all this time in Africa, we have been taught, in fact, after colonization, we have been taught that we have to look up to something, you know, to, to, to be able to protect us and uh, make our lives better for us. So, you, you can see that uh, generally, Africa, we have always been dependent. In fact, that has led to the sort of dependency that we have. But now Buddhism is breaking that ground. Breaking the ground in the sense that it's making the African feel confident about himself. It's making the African feel a bit courageous about himself. I mean, feeling that he or she as a human being has all these potentials that others also have. And I think that with time, I mean, Buddhism is just started in Africa, but I believe that with time, as people come to understanding of Buddhism, a better understanding of Buddhism and what the philosophy stands for. I think a lot of people will swing for it because that is what Africans want, a way to get out of this kind of, uh, let, me, let me put it, mental slavery that we have now. So you see Buddhism as being the key to true revolution. Would you say that? Yeah. That the Buddhism is the key to true revolution? Yes. To, it, it, it's, it's the key to true, a true revolution in Africa. Revolution in the sense that it's going to make the Africans uh, perceive life correctly and then move forward in life in the correct direction. So what you're saying, or are you saying that, say, if we did not look up to, say, look up to the sky, but look into ourselves, but look into the laws, are you saying we can use these principles to achieve the things that's necessary for the advancement of Africa? Yes, I, I, th I think that is uh, quite, uh, let, let me put it as a matter of fact, that is what it is. Because uh, for all these years, we've always believed that, you know, our people have believed that something somewhere should be the factor that should move their lives. But the African traditionally, I think, knows that you have to do something, you know, to get your life moving. That was broken with the uh, introduction of uh, Christianity or Christian philosophy. And, uh, you know, Christian philosophy came with the modern civilization and the modern way of doing things, uh, money and all that. So a lot of people had to go along with it. But now I think people are beginning to realize that it's not only the money, it's not only the, that kind of acceptance that is necessary for people to move forward. So I, I believe that as more and more people come to this understanding, it's, it's going to change the face of Africa. Do you have